Welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over how to actually install Link 2013 on your computer. Here I have both files for the 32-bit version of Link and the 64-bit version of Link. And I want to show you what happens if you attempt to install the wrong version first. Uh, my computer is a 64-bit, and I'm going to try to install the 32-bit. It will begin uh, extracting the files out, but give it a second here. Yep, you will get an error message saying you can't install this version of Office. Um, this isn't necessarily because of your computer, though. If you have a 64-bit computer and you attempt to use the 64-bit version of Link, you may get an error message similar to this. Uh, the reason is because Link is a part of Microsoft Office, and you have the 32-bit version of Office. See, right now it's trying to install 32-bit, but I have 64-bit version of Office. Um, if I had a 32-bit version of Office, it would work just fine. I know this is kind of confusing, but basically, if you see this error message here saying we can't install the X version of Office, go download the opposite version of Link. So we will close that, and we'll start up installing the actual version here. All right, then you just click Install Now, and that's pretty much it. Um, this thing here can take quite a while to finish. I've had it sometimes go up to 30 minutes on a really slow PC. It may only take you about 10, though. Uh, once it is done, you just click uh, Close down here in the bottom left, and that is pretty much it. So we've just finished up the installation, and let's start up Program and get you signed in. To begin, go to Start, then All Programs then Microsoft Office 2013, and there you'll see Link 2013. So click on that, and you'll get this long rectangular menu, and this is your main Link program. When it first comes up, it's going to say someone at example.com, so just replace that with your TTU email. And then if you ask for a username, keep your email there, and then put in your TTU password. So give me one second here. In. All right, so this is how Link looks like when you're signed in. Um, here will be your name up here. Uh, down here is your group of contacts. Uh, these are some of the people I work with. If you want to find, there are two things I want to go over real quick. If you want to find somebody, you go into this field here and you put in their last name first. So it's, uh, let's try Professor Granados. Yep, there's Professor Granados, uh, and then I could double click on her and it will bring up a new window and then I could chat with her or have a phone call or something like that. The other thing that you should keep in mind, the, the options panel is going to be kind of important. Um, that is this little gear icon here, and it's primarily needed when um, you need to choose a different video camera or audio camera, like right now you see uh, under video device, if I had a separate one plugged in or I didn't want to use the built-in one on my laptop, I could choose here. Under audio device, um, you can choose different speakers or you can adjust the volumes. Uh, for example, if you have a really hard time hearing your professor, you can increase the volume this way. Uh, they can barely hear you, you can increase it, uh, your microphone. And There's also an option to check call quality. It will do a test call. If you've ever done Skype, you've seen that before. Um, let's see. With that done, there's only one other little thing. Um, it's helpful if you go to Start, All Programs, and then uh, Windows Update. There are usually a bunch of uh, updates, security updates for Microsoft Link. You technically don't have to do these, but you know, it's, since they're security related, I would strongly recommend it. So in the last, in the last section here, we're going to talk about how to actually join the class. Thank you.